All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So a couple hours ago, Team Dokkaner released a new article on his Oh My Gotcha website, where he gives us some more insight into what we can expect for part two of the worldwide celebration. Now, for anybody that hasn't been to the website, hasn't checked it out yet, I'll put a link in my description down below. And with that said, let's uh, jump into it and see what part two has in store for us. So first things first, he says that uh, there's definitely been a lack of content in this celebration so far, which I'm sure most people can agree with. And the second thing he mentions is the fact that there's not gonna be a new Kid Buu coming for part two, all right, on the legendary summon banner. Now, of course, this is something that a lot of people were speculating, were expecting and really hoping for, like a new Kid Buu unit because uh, given the theme of the celebration, it would make a lot of sense to get a new Kid Buu. And in fact, it's been quite some time since we last had a new Kid Buu unit in this game in general, right? Like the last one, I think, was the 120% lead, the uh, Int Kid Buu. And he was released, I think, at least two and a half to three years ago. So yeah, we're definitely overdue, but unfortunately... It's not going to be coming for part two of the celebration. But if you look at the order of releases for units on JP, at least, it would make sense for them to get a new Kid Buu unit, whether it's a Dokkan Fest exclusive or an LR or a Dokkan Fest exclusive LR uh, sometime in the near future after the worldwide celebration ends, right? Um, so, of course, once that comes out on JP, then Global will be getting it three to four to six months after. So a new Kid Buu is definitely coming. It's just not coming for, you know, the worldwide celebration. And instead, we're going to be getting a new LR Vegeta, which is what the uh, manga panel leaks on Tokener's Twitter page from a couple days ago was uh, referring to. Now, real quick, before we talk about him any further, I do want to quickly apologize for my video from a couple days ago where uh, when I saw those panels on the on his Twitter page, I got a little bit excited and my mind immediately went to LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku because obviously one of the panels is from that scene where Vegeta is just talking about how strong Goku is, how much he respects Goku and all that stuff. And of course, in that scene, Goku is in his Super Saiyan 3 form fighting Kid Buu, right? So my mind was like, yo, it's going to be an LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But no, instead, it's going to be LR Vegeta with Goku in the card art, like in the background. And Goku will still be part of this card in two different ways. Okay, the first way is that he'll be part of the active skill for the card, which is going to be a buff to the unit. We don't know what the buff is going to be. Most likely, I'm guessing like an attack or ND defense buff or something of that sort. And also, he's going to be part of a joint super attack or partner super attack, which is the new mechanic that we kind of learned about a couple of weeks ago, maybe even like a month ago now. But either way, the new mechanic that we haven't seen yet, but is coming for part two. And this Vegeta will have a partner super attack, which can be launched when you have him on the same rotation as a Goku from the Majin Buu saga. And once you do that, and they will execute a joined attack with the two characters. And this can be done with the LR Goku and Vegeta from part one of the celebration, of course. So that is uh, all we know about the upcoming LR Vegeta for the Legendary Summon Banner. And uh, it will be a top Legendary Summon Banner most likely because we also learned that LR Majin Vegeta, the AGL one, the original one, uh, will also most likely be getting a super attack revamp just like the int lr gohan from last year so i'm going to assume that the legendary summon banner that's coming up will have the new vegeta featured as well as the old uh, agl lr Majin vegeta with the super attack revamp so that's pretty hype as well considering that the Majin vegeta's 18 key super is like one of the most iconic scenes in the entire franchise so there you go guys that is the upcoming lr for part two and you know what? It's kind of refreshing to be honest. Like, even though LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I feel like it's overall just a more hype character. Um, I like the fact that they're this time focusing on Vegeta, because usually Vegeta is the one that gets the shaft, and Goku gets more love from the game in general, right? So I think this is good. I think this is good. Anyways, LR Vegeta on the way with the active skill as well as the joint super attack, once again with a Goku from the uh, Buu Saga arc. And as far as content goes, 
Um, Dokkan qu quickly mentions that he feels like Bandai slash Akatsuki made a few mistakes with the celebration. And instead of focusing on, you know, just creating more content, creating more events for us to do, they spent too much time improving the global versus J JP, like, collaborative campaign system. And if you guys noticed, yeah, there's a, a really nice new UI for the, the system or the campaign where, like, you can see the progress bar and there's, like, different visual effects that they created for this campaign, which is nice. But, I mean, does anybody really care about that compared to, like, just having new content, right? I mean, if they spent most of their time working on this new system as opposed to making new events, then it kind of makes sense why part one was so dead. But that being said, part two should be at least a little bit better. At least a little bit better, okay? So, he talks about the fact that Global should be getting Extreme Super Battle Road for the first time Finally, all right, it's been a long time coming now and if you guys don't know extreme super battle road is essentially a Souped up version or much harder version of the monotype stages from from the regular super battle road And the enemies are gonna be much stronger with more attack more defense and more HP So it's gonna be a big challenge and uh, I think a lot of people that you know haven't been playing for a while will definitely struggle with this stage, but I'm super excited because like I said, I've been waiting for a challenge from this game for quite some time now. So that's super, super hype for me personally. Extreme Super Battle Road is coming for part two. And then we have the Awakenings for the free-to-play units from the story event, the, uh, you know, the Int Goku, as well as the, uh, the AGL Hercule. I think it's AGL Hercule. Anyways, the Hercule and the Goku, both getting token Awakenings, and also, most likely, Extreme Z Awakenings as well. On top of that, we're getting Extreme Z Awakening for LR Hercule, which was to be expected. We heard about that before. And uh, there's also going to be a Global versus JP campaign where I believe one side will get a Goku card and the other side will get a Vegeta card. Uh, most likely, winner gets Goku, loser gets Vegeta or something like that. We'll see, but there is going to be a campaign like that like we've had for the last download celebrations, right, for the past couple of years. And finally, we're going to be getting... Uh, obviously new stages for the Buu Saga story event to get the medals to awaken both the Goku and the Hercule and also a new stage for infinite Dragon Ball history and I'm assuming it's going to be like the end of the Buu Saga right so with enemies like Vegito, uh, Buhan, Kid Buu and so on and so forth and finally he says that there may also be Extreme Z Awakenings uh, possibly for more Dokkan Fest units like a 120 lead or something like that but uh, he can't confirm anything at the moment. And as far as the start date for part two, it's most likely going to be starting on the 14th to 15th, so in like two days or so. And the portal or the uh, legendary summon banner will be dropping on the 15th to 16th, so one or two days after the celebration or part two of the celebration officially begins. And that is pretty much it, guys. That is all the news, all the new things we learned from the Dokkan. I almost said Dokkan now, actually. Uh, oh my gotcha. Oh my gotcha article from Team Dokkaner's website. And uh, once again, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, it's a really, really good resource. I'll put a link in my description down below. Make sure to go check it out after you watch this video. But uh, that's all I got to tell you in this video. Uh, if there's anything else that comes out in the future, I will definitely keep you guys posted. But uh, that's, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are excited for part two. Let me know in the comments down below, actually, how you feel about a new LR Vegeta instead of a Goku, instead of a Kid Buu. Are you guys excited or are you guys disappointed? Uh, or are you, are you just waiting for, you know, the details and the animations to come out first before you make a judgment? That's probably the best way to go about it, honestly. But uh, like I said, I'm happy about it because I just feel like in general, Vegeta need some more love so the fact that he's getting his own lr and just an lr vegeta compared to you know vegeta and goku or um you know somebody somebody else i think is a good thing it's a good step in the right direction but anyways that is the video that's all i gotta say once more stuff comes out i will make another video so you don't have to worry about like being left out or anything like that and as always if you liked the video today then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button 
to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.